Hello everyone and welcome back to another art piece video tutorial. I'm Milad and today I'll show you different ways of applying custom CSS to your Jupyter based site. The reason that you might need to apply custom CSS would be when you need to style something in a way that the option is unavailable in theme options or the shortcode settings. There are multiple places you can add your custom CSS. Whether you want your CSS to be applied only to one element or all elements inside a specific page or even the whole site. So let's explore these sections. If you want to apply CSS to every page in your site, you have a few options. You can add your CSS in theme options, or you can add it in appearance, customize, additional CSS, or you can use a child theme. Now let's go with an example about this. I assume that you know the basics of CSS and using your browser's inspection tool, because covering these topics are beyond the scope of this video. Anyway, here I have a blog post with clear and bold style. What we want to do is change the color of the author name to yellow. So what I need to do is right click on it and choose to inspect this element. Now here I can copy the code that targets this element and use it to override the CSS. For the first method of applying this, I can go to Jupyter, Theme Options, Advanced, Custom CSS and add it here. I just need to add one line of code to make it yellow. And now if I save and refresh the blog post, we can see the changes. One alternate way to do this would be going to Appearance, Customize, then Additional CSS and write the CSS code here. And of course for the third method you can use a child theme and add your custom CSS code inside the style.css file. To learn more about the child theme visit this article in our knowledge base. So that's the way to add CSS to the whole site. Now if you wanted to add some CSS code only for one page it's possible as well. As an example here I have a page made with Visual Composer. Let's say I wanted to make all headings on this page colored green. I can go to backend editor then click on this gear icon and write my custom CSS code here. If I save and update the page, these changes will only affect this particular page, so my other pages throughout the site will remain unchanged. So that's how you can add custom CSS only for one page. You should know that it's also possible to add a CSS class to only one element on the page. Let's see an example of this with the image shortcode, but the concept is the same for all Visual Composer elements. As you can see, here in this page I have multiple image elements. Let's apply a red border with CSS only to this image. What we should do is edit this image element, and if I scroll down till the end, you can see that here we have an option to add an extra class name. Let's give it a class name of image with border. Once you added this extra class name, the CSS code that targets this, whether it's in page settings or theme options, will only apply to this element. Of course, any other element which has this class name will inherit the CSS as well. Now let's go to theme options and write some CSS code to add a border to the image container. If I save this and then preview the page, you'll see that only this image which has our custom CSS class shows the border. In fact, one of the benefits of using CSS is that if you've applied a class to multiple elements and you change your mind about some styling, you can change it really fast in one place for all the elements at once. Okay, before we wrap up, I just wanted to point out that you need to be careful about not adding extra or invalid characters in your CSS code, because it'll make a corruption in the syntax, and the whole CSS might break and not work. And that's it for how to add custom CSS code to Jupyter. Have a nice time.